Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. It's here. We're here. And we're gonna finally be playing it. Shin Megami Tensei 5 is out. It's early in the morning. I've got some coffee right next to me. And I'm ready to go. Um, I'm really excited about this. So, let's get into here. Difficulty select. Oh, this is, this is the real one right here. This is the real one right here. Okay. Select the difficulty of the game. This will only influence the game's battles. The story will be unaffected. You can change the difficulty at any time from the options menu. Please be aware that hard can only be chosen here and cannot be selected later on. Okay. So, what that is telling us is that uh, basically we can choose hard right at the start, but if during the game we ever choose to go to normal, we can never set it back to hard. So let's keep that in mind, okay? Please select a difficulty level. So here's the thing. I'm going to be starting this game on hard. Now, I need to point this out to all of my SMT fans out here. I don't know if I'm going to be playing the whole game on hard. So it's really important that I point this out at the beginning of the playthrough is um, that I really want to play this game on hard, um, but... I'm not convinced that I will have a good time playing this game on hard, and my enjoyment of this game is the most important thing to me. So, we're going to be starting on hard. I want to try to stick with hard, but from everything that I've heard, this game has a lot of challenge to it. Like a really difficult game. So, um, depending on how things go, we may switch this into normal at some point. So, I'm just going to point that out right now. That way, nobody can tell me, you know, that I lied to them in the first episode. <laughs> we're going to be trying it on hard, and we're going to go from there. So, this is a difficulty full of danger and hardships, recommended to those seeking an exceptional challenge. Oh, man. I know it's going to hurt me. This game is going to try and hurt me for making that choice. This is a work of fiction. Any names or characters, businesses, or incidents are fictitious. Any resemblance to actual persons living or dead, or actual event, blah 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 blah. When I contemplate the brevity of man's life, I am indifferent to the worldly things. How many are the days I spend in thought? The Manyoshu. I have been waiting for this moment for so long, it feels like. Yeah, this music feels very much like the opening music in SMT4. Long ago, the world of order was created by God. And his servants, the angels, led it on its proper course. It was in such a world that countless mortals led happy, fruitful, and prosperous lives by his grace. However, even God's world is not eternal. The pure, unsullied path that God had forged will, as fate dictates, become a muddled, poisonous swamp at the hands of humankind. Disrupted order begets chaos, and chaos will likewise be consumed by order in turn. How will these keepers of knowledge strive and perish during their final futile hours in this doomed world? Let us watch them at our leisure until the new ruler is seated upon the throne. Okay, I'm in. Dude, I love those school uniforms. Ever since I saw, like, the first trailer that showed right. them, I was like, those are really cool. 
Everyone should have their own personal tablets now, but it sounds like some of you still need to get them registered. <laughs> Those temp accounts are about to expire. So anyone who's been putting it off, better get on that. A.K.A. me. This is no Persona game. Anybody who thinks this is going to be a Persona game, think again. Mood and tone is going to be completely different. Just don't expect that. All right. So um, I also like to point out um, kind of what my experience is with uh, this series. Um, I've played a ton of Persona games, many of them on channel as well. Um, I've definitely got Persona 4 Golden on channel. I've got Persona 5 um, Royal on channel. Um, I've also played Persona 3, and I've played quite a bit of Persona 2. Haven't finished that one. Um, other than that, when it comes to Shin Megami Tensei games proper, kind of the mainline series, I have only played um, Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne. Um, I played the HD remaster when that came out on the Switch recently. And I have played uh, part of SMT4. Both of those playthroughs are on the channel, and I'm relatively new to the actual Shin Megami Tensei proper side of things. So this is going to be the third game I've played, and um, we haven't finished SMT4 yet, but once we beat this game, we're going to be returning to it. So that's kind of where we're at. All right. We're going to be going with, um, well, let's see. I think we can only fit for Knack, right? Yeah, because we can't fit vernacular. So we're going to be going with Vernac for the name. Oh, you know what? Can I go back? All right, we'll just switch our first and last name. That works. They reverse them in Japanese a lot of the times anyway. Vernac Analog. Let's go. One other thing. It's been getting pretty dangerous out there. Remember the buddy system. Go back to the dorm in groups. Analog Coon. That's it for homeroom. Thank you, sir. So Atlas has put out a lot of materials for this game. I haven't watched a lot of them, to be honest with you. I've watched some of the main trailers, but that's about it. I've been uh, partially blacked out on uh, multimedia that they've been putting out. Students were advised to head home in groups. You should look for a classmate to walk with. The minimap is displayed in the lower left corner of the screen and gives you information on your surroundings. A talking symbol indicates someone that can be spoken to. You can approach these individuals and press the A button to speak with them. Okay. Here we go. Starting us out in a classroom. Hey, hey! Oh, speaking of all the scary stuff, I heard a first year got attacked near the station. Apparently the shadow came right at her. Huh? A shadow? What do you mean? Well... I mean, that's how she described it. She said all she saw was some kind of black vlog. Black fog. Uh, but when it touched her bag, the material got all torn up. Like, literally, cuts started appearing. Like, from a knife. <sighs> what? That makes no sense. These students are too busy talking. Doesn't seem like you can walk home with them. Hey. Saw you talking to that geek from the next class over. Uh, what was his name? Ichiro da Dazai? Yeah. Yeah, Dazai. Uh, I guess he's making videos, trying to put together this web series? Ask me about that slasher incident in the tunnel. Hmm. Alright, that stuff about some invisible guy with a knife? Makes you wonder what the real story is there. <laughs> yeah, seemed like that was Dazai's point. Said he's gonna solve the mystery of the slasher and the tunnel. Really hyping himself up, you know? Okay. You want to know who I think the biggest name at the school is? It's got to be Yuzuru. Uh... Yuzuru Atsuta, right? The honor student from Class B? I guess he's the best we've got in academics, yeah. <laughs> but in terms of girls, it'd be Teo Isuno Isunokami? She's smart, a great athlete, nice, she's got it all. Hey! Hey, I'm smart. 
I'm athletic. I'm nice. Okay, sometimes a symbol will be displayed on the minimap. This is an objective marker that indicates where you should go next, and reaching this marker will advance the main story. Make your way to these locations when you are ready to progress. Okay. Everything all right? You want to walk home together? Uh, going home in a group sounds like a right pain in the ass. I'm just going to go in alone. <sighs> if you can't find anyone else, maybe you should do the same, huh? The student went home by himself. Maybe we'll have to find someone from another class. You decided to go home alone as well, or not. If they really wanted to mess with us, they'd throw up like a calendar system. <laughs> hey, you heading back alone? Okay, this is Satsuda. All right, smartest guy you in the heard class. Talk about it being safer to go home in groups, right? You should walk with us. Oh, look at this. Sure. Oh, hey you two, over here. Isunokami. Smart athletic. Oh, Miyazu Atsuda. So you're, what, younger sister? I didn't know you knew him, Miyazu. I mean, not really. They've met in passing. I think Miyazu and I ran into him a couple times. Yeah, Tao. Something like that. Okay, Tao, not Tao. You're lucky your big brother looks out for you so much, huh? Noted. Um, I guess. We're the only family we've got. I don't think it's that strange to look out for my little sister. <laughs> sure, sure. So, how about we all walk home together? I mean, hell, if you've got to wear a school uniform, you could do a lot worse than those. At least those have some style and life to them, you know? <laughs> look at this. Yes, they're giving us an old school overworld. Look at this. Bernack attends Juin, jo, Juin? Joan? High School? I think they just said it, and I already don't know how to pronounce it. Alright, and not too far from here, he lives at the Joan High School dormitory, along with the other students. Okay. In the commute to and from school, the shortest route is to pass through the connecting passageway at Shinagawa Station. Okay. Shinagawa's... Shinagawa Station West Exit. Let's go. Let's go and talk to people first. We're in no rush. This tunnel makes my skin crawl, and the ceiling's real low, too. Okay, so this is that underpass that people were talking about right here, isn't it? Huh, this place has been getting so dangerous. A lot of weird stuff has been going on lately. Suicide rate going up, random assaults across the city happening at the same time. People online say it's because of monsters in the city. As if the whole thing wasn't surreal enough. Blaming it on monsters? I'd laugh about it if I could. Okay. Oh, right. Tao, you said you wanted to talk about something? We keep seeing police officers in the background oh, running. it's nothing. I've just been having these weird dreams lately. I keep hearing this distant voice, like someone far away is calling out to me. 
It keeps getting closer and closer, but just when it seems like they've almost found me, I wake up. And I keep having that dream every night. Kinda getting to me. I wish someone could tell me what it all means. Probably a reflection of something subconscious. Maybe you're just stressed over the future. It would make sense, since... Something going on? Looks like. Here, I'll go check it out. Saw somebody in a robe in the background? Yeah, over there on the, like, the right-hand side of, of the blue, it looks like there's a robed figure. Seems like something's happening at the station. You should take a look. Oh, that's a person with his arms up. Okay. <laughs> huh? Another murder? This one's just as brutal as the others. Oh my god. Really? Is that what's going on? Hey! Come on, Shinagawa's a pain in the ass to get around without the trains. The entire path is blocked off by a blue sheet. It doesn't look like you can pass through. Hey! I heard someone got eaten. Was it some kind of wild animal? Huh? I tried to get a look, but it's hard to tell. Blood everywhere, though. <laughs> you gotta record this. This is gonna blow up online. Looks like something happened here. The onlookers are talking about it. Hmm. I like on the mini-map and on these icons that it shows you you talked to already. Always appreciate that in an RPG. Oh, hi. My brother came back, but he needed to take a call or something. Walked off somewhere. Then... Tao got a message too. She went looking for somewhere quiet to try calling back. Okay, that's a pretty slow auto. <laughs> you notice I had auto turned uh, on for that. Would you mind checking up on my brother? Yeah. I know he's always looking after me, but I get worried about him too. Atlas is usually good about having a pretty good auto, but looks like in this game it might not be the case. Sure, leave it to me. Thanks. I'll, I'll just wait here in case Tao comes back. Okay, so she's the timid, shy one. <gasps> There's blood everywhere past that sheet. It was horrible. I'm sorry, but there's been an incident inside. You'll have to take an alternate route. Most people are just focused on all the blood, and the body, or whatever's left of it. I thought I saw some shadowy figure running away, but I'm not sure. Am I the only one who noticed? Oh, but one of those high school boys went running in the same direction. Some kid with glasses? The blonde kid with the hat, right? Um, I kinda suspect he might be the one that they were talking about in the classroom, who's, uh, the nerd who's doing the videos. Someone was saying some kind of wild animal escaped from the zoo across from the station. And that's why there's all this mess. Do you have a moment? Is that the best story they could think of? That's an aquarium across from the station. Yeah, like, this is all some kind of fl fish flopping around? Hey there! Oh, you're from jo Joe and Hai. Yeah, sounds like they closed the whole area off. I don't think anyone's getting back to the dorms this way. <sighs> Thought I was lucky since it wasn't that crowded. Man, I just can't catch a break. Okay, we might have to uh, take the long way around. Oh, this is how they're going to make us go in the underpass. Where people are getting attacked, apparently. Our first save. Okay, did they give us a lot of slots? Looks like they did. That's what you like to see. That's what I like to see. We'll be using every single one of those slots. You, trust me, if you haven't been around, <laughs> uh... You'll, you'll learn real quick. I'm going to use every single one of those. Okay. Looks like these guys have new dialogue. The station's closed off? Oh, I saw a high school kid with glasses head into that tunnel. But man, look how creepy it is. I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. 
All right. You okay, Atsuda? Yep, there he is. I was right. All right. So word on the street is a bunch of monsters have been seen hanging around this tunnel. Ichiro? Dazai? I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Uh, yo! Sheesh! <laughs> Ceiling's pretty low. Pretty dark in here, too. Looks dangerous. That is incredibly low ceiling. All right, enough screwing around. Let's go even deeper, yeah? I think we might be onto something big. What's going on, Atsuda? Hey, what are you doing here? Kind of look like Gatsuda may have seen some shit down there. What was he running from? Long, long ago, before these creatures known as humans gained knowledge, the god of law seated himself upon the throne of creation. He seized all knowledge from the other gods, rebuking them, so they could never dare to approach the throne. Reducing them to mere demons. The fruit of knowledge was secreted away in a paradise of his own creation. One day, a serpent sought out the mortals, seeking to tempt them into doing his will. Eat the fruit of knowledge in this paradise, and you will become more like God. <laughs> the serpent's goal was to revive the war of the myriad gods. Oblivious to the serpent's machinations, the mortals of each realm ate the fruit. One after another, without fail. The knowledge they devoured then bound to their souls, birthing humans closer to gods. When the god of law saw this, he banished all humanity from his paradise in a fit of rage. Humans, you curious creatures infused with precious knowledge. Know that you are observed by countless demons, waiting for their chance to strike. Okay. So definitely some thematic uh, ties to uh, Adam and Eve, Garden of Eden, Forbidden Fruit. Knowledge as a noun is being used a lot. Okay. Already getting some interesting stuff. Let me know if there are other um, mythologies or religious um, things that also involve a similar story to the Adam and Eve story. There could be some Eastern influences to that story as well. That I'm unaware of. Oh, 
<laughs> How can this be? A human walks among us. This is no place for one such as you. I shall grant you sanctuary. Fortunate an angel of Bethel found you. Were it an agent of chaos in my stead, you may not be alive. Remain calm and keep still. You will be safe momentarily. Oh my god. That looks like it would be an unpleasant trip. So yeah, that's the redesign of Angel. Little bit less BDSM in this version. All of the redesigns for demons I have seen in this game have all been pretty cool. Atlas has always done a good job with the Persona and Demon designs, though. I'm excited to meet some of the new ones. And some of the ones that I'll probably almost certainly think are new that aren't actually new. <laughs> Like I said, haven't played all the SMT games. No matter how many times you look, it's the same seemingly endless sea of sand. It's safe to assume this isn't a dream. You decide to move onward for now. And... It looks like just like that, the apocalypse has already happened. Tokyo as we know it is gone. All right. I didn't know if it would happen that soon or not. The tunnels, uh, the tunnel has all but collapsed. It's full of sand. The art style is striking for this game. And there's our chaos. So we've heard Bethel representing law. Okay, is that guy actually Young as man, big as he looks? If you wish to live, take my hand. Nod. Here we go. <laughs> so the Nahobino 
will make themselves known again after all this time. Knowledge and life have remained separate until now. Perhaps the future is secured. Light or dark, you may chase whatever you please. I shall await you in the realm beyond the earth and heavens. Is that, um... Until then, may your newfound power guide your survival. So that voice might be the Kagatsuchi? Kind of like in Nocturne? Okay, here we go. So, the Nahobino... Might be rep like they might represent knowledge in some way. It sounds like knowledge and life is now together again. Interesting. Okay. You and I are now one. We have ascended to become a being known as Our form is based on my own appearance, but your knowledge seems to be the basis of our. What's your name, bro? But your knowledge seems to be the basis of your consciousness. Okay. I shall obey your will. Command me in battle, that we may best fight as one. Okay, we're in it. Player and enemy actions are governed by the press turn icon shown at the top of the screen. Taking one action consumes one icon. Select skills, then choose an action to take. Okay, so we have our regular attacks. We've got Zeo, makes sense. Looks like we shot that out of our hands. When choosing which action to take, you can select skills and choose to attack, heal, or support, among other choices. Choosing the attack skill will not consume any MP. All other actions, however, will cost MP to use. Observe each situation and decide the best approach. Does that include physical skills? Is this going to be like four or three? Are physical skills going to take HP or are they going to take uh, MP? We're going to have to wait to find out. A Magatoki critical. It says Magatsui. So up in the top right hand corner, there's a Magatsui bar. We're gonna have to figure out how that kind of works as we uh, move forward. But apparently, it's some kind of like, yeah, ability charge of some kind. Okay, so it's not gonna let us use Zio right now. That's fine. They're teaching us how to fight. Each skill has its own affinity, and demons typically have weaknesses to certain skill affinities. Targeting a demon's weakness will deal damage as well as cause a press turn icon to start flashing. This indicates that you have earned one additional action. Striking weaknesses and granting yourself extra actions can often lead to victory, so pay attention to the skills used. Okay, so most likely, this guy's gonna be weak to Zeo. We get our press turn. All right, we got our additional action. You can grant yourself extra actions in a fight by targeting enemy weaknesses. On the other hand, missing attacks or having your attacks nullified will consume more press turn icons than normal. The same rules apply for the enemy as well. Target enemy weaknesses while defending your own in order to maintain the advantage. Okay. Okay, he's like not even halfway done. You're not gonna let me go back? Really? Okay, fine. Okay, first level up. You leveled up. A lot you earn points to build your stats. Okay. Here we go. Increase damage of physical attacks. Vitality reduces damage when attacked by enemies. Magic increases damage of magic attacks. Agility increases chance to gain the initiative. Escape rate, hit rate when attacking, and evasion when attacked. Luck increases probability of chance-based results being in your favor during battle. 
Now, in a lot of uh, SMT games, it seems like the meta for many of them tends to be, you know, either dumping everything into magic or into strength. Um, in SMT3, I think the meta was kind of just decided that strength was a great build. In SMT4, um, magic tended to be the one. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be kind of uh, dumping into one stat in this playthrough, um, but we'll see. Um, for now, I think that we're going to be maybe um, dumping some magic. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't really decided. Um, obviously, since we're going into this blind, won't really know what the meta is. But let's go ahead and dump into magic a little bit. Maybe we'll spread it out. All hostile targets eliminated. Where are we? This place is what is now called the Netherworld. Okay. It seems its demon inhabitants were targeting you. The Netherworld, huh? The Netherworld, the place the demons call home. You saw them. They are descendants of the gods of old, known now as demons. This is their world. But do not worry. I, Protofiend Algami, am here to assist you. There's our name. Okay, no Demi Fiend. This is the Proto Fiend. Algami. Together, we have become a being known as a Nahobino. This new body should allow us to fend off the demons. Let us keep this form until we reach a safe location. I'd like you to go here, as it should help us get a better grasp of this world. Pressing the plus button will display the map, which gives a much wider view of the area. This can prove useful when the mini-map isn't giving you enough information. Okay. Alright, leveling up does not heal you. That is an important thing that we need to know. Auto heal. Would we even be able to do that right now? In general, auto heal is an inefficient way to heal in most of these games, but. Okay, we have no items. We don't have any healing skills, so I don't think that we'd be able to heal ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it would use items if you didn't have skills for it, but we don't have items either. The Nahobino can move at great speeds. Hold the ZL button or ZR button and tilt the left stick to dash. Pressing ZL and ZR at the same time will allow you to dash without holding a button down. Try moving about freely to your destination. Okay. You seem worn out from that last battle. Perhaps you should gather some Magatsu. Agreed. This world is filled with Magatsuhi. Brimming with spiritual power, it is the source of a demon's strength. The lights you see around us are the crystallized forms of Magatsui. What? Young man, can you not see them? Perhaps you aren't accustomed to your new body just yet. Focus, and try looking again. Were you able to see them? Yes, those are Magatsuhi crystals. Magatsuhi can give us strength as well. If you see any, don't hesitate to claim it for yourself. The three colored lights that can be seen on the map are called Magatsuhi crystals. Green crystals restore HP. Yellow crystals restore MP. Red crystals store Magatsuhi, which is needed to use special skills. Okay, got him. Oh, hey, look at that. You will come across various obstructions as you traverse the world. Pressing the B button will allow you to jump over these obstacles. Try jumping over the boulders, then continue toward your destination. Always gotta look for that loot, you know?
Climbing points refer to the square blocks with red edges seen on the map. You can climb on top of these points by facing them and pressing the B button. Okay. The golden objects you see on the map are treasure boxes. These can be destroyed with the Nahobino's sword attack. So, whenever you see one, try approaching it and pressing the Y button. Nice. 500 Maka. Very cool. Observe, young man. This land is known as the Netherworld. Isn't that Tokyo Tower? I've heard that this place was once known as Tokyo. But that time has passed. Now it is the Netherworld, a land dominated by demons. It almost implies that a lot of time has passed. Did humanity die out? Hmm. I'm afraid I lack the data needed to answer your inquiry right now, young man. All I can remember is that there was a battle here in days past between gods and demons. Two great forces clashed right here in front of Tokyo Tower. I know this because I was there as well. Despite this, however, the data containing my memory of what followed has been damaged. The only other memory I have is of my mission to protect you. He almost sounds like he's made of data doesn't he? There's always been sort of like an, an undercurrent of like technology in the SMT series. Makes sense, you know. Um, I think that the original story it's based off of had a lot of like basically demons were summoned through a digital program, so <laughs> it seems this Algami character can't explain anything further. I don't know too much about that Young original man, book. Perhaps but we could make our way to Tokyo Tower. Just things I've heard over the years, you know. If we return to the last location in my memory, I may be able to remember something else. Going with Algami's suggestion seems to be the best course of action for now. I love how he puts his hand up as if he's like listening to an earpiece. Lay of the land. As you progress through the main story, a quest may naturally trigger. These are called main quests. Main quests are different from the optional subquests and must be completed to progress the story. Baby's first JRPG? What the hell? <laughs> This shouldn't be somebody's first RPG. Probably. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, don't forget to look up, huh? The world is like disintegrating upwards in some places. It's interesting. Hmm. After comparing this blue pillar of light with my data, I have concluded this is a ley line fount. A ley line fount is a point from which the Earth's energy overflows. As one might surmise, it holds incredible power. Not only can it heal those who touch it, but it can also instantly teleport one to another location. Considering the damage sustained in your previous battle, I recommend you verify its healing capabilities. <laughs> well, you're a peculiar one, aren't you? Hmm. <laughs> Seen this guy in the trailers. Really now? You want to know where you are? <laughs> Why, this is the place I call home. He's creepy. As you can plainly see, I'm a bit of a collector of sorts. It's easy living. What with the riffraff out there and me in here? <laughs> Still, a demon like you's a first. One body, sure, but I can sense two spirits within, no doubt about it. <laughs> Pleasure having you. 
Gustav, Keeper of the Cadaver's Hollow, Boss of the Miman. You may call me Gustav. See something you like? It's all yours. For a small fee, of course. <laughs> oh, God. Is he our shop? He's got to be our shop. So, off to Tokyo Tower, are we? And you found little old me while trying to harvest the power of the ley line fount, yes? <laughs> then you ought to do yourself a favor and make a purchase. I'll sell you what you crave, long as you've got the marker. Give yourself an edge against the demons, why don't you? <laughs> what will it be? Okay. All right, we have 565 Maka. Status ailments. Let's have one of those on hand. We're going to have one of those on hand. And one of these on hand. Need anything else? Yeah, I need a lot more. I just don't have the Maka, buddy. <laughs> Satisfied your curiosity, have you? Allow me to send you back on the I probably could have waited on the uh, revival for now, but that's okay. Probably should have just got that, more healing. However, I couldn't help but think our meeting like this must be fate. So perhaps you can do me a favor. I'm rather taken with the human knickknacks and relics of yore. So I got some pawns to go out and fetch them for me. Mimon, they're called. I did pronounce that right, okay. Trouble is, they're fickle, and even worse, forgetful. Oftentimes, they give up the search and do whatever they please. <sighs> Useless. That said, if you happen to run across any, mind sending them back old Gustav's direction? I'll see to it you're rewarded. <laughs> Also, I've taken liberty to connect this place to the Leyline Fount. Feel free to come and go as you fancy. <laughs> Till next time! Dude, that VO is going oh, so hard, yes, I love of it. Of course! Here, allow me to show you the ins and outs of the Leyline Fount. I can use the flow to heal you if you fancy. I do fancy, actually. But I can't do it for free. Oh, how dare you. <laughs> Cough up a little maca, however, I'll set you right his reign. Be good to remember that. Hey. <laughs> I have no maca. <laughs> the cadaver's hollow has been unlocked. Recovery has been unlocked. There was an unexpected meeting, but we were able to confirm the Fount's capabilities. As we make our way to Tokyo Tower, I recommend we look for the Mimon, as we were asked. Okay. Save game. Chronicle Deeds. Here we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what? Cadaver's Hollow. And how much do you charge? I mean, we're mostly full right now, so... Okay, so from where we're at, he's only charging six Maka. Okay, cool. We'll top off. Skill info one? Oh, okay, gotcha. Looks like we have four skill slots right now. All right, we've saved. Let's move forward. Young man, could that be one of the Mimon we were told about? I'm gonna go with yes. Creepy little guys. <laughs> Gustav wants us back? Bye -bye. Well, no find any relics yet. Fine, fine. I'll head back. You obtained five glory. Now I think that that's the equivalent. We've located a Mimon. We should report back to Cadaver's Hollow. Upon locating the Mimon you received, what is no uh you received what is known as glory. You will make use of this later. I think that that's supposed to be our equivalent of app points that will allow us to get um skills and 
benefits to ourselves. For now, keep moving forward. Okay, I see another Mimon right here. We've located a Mimon. You're not gonna let me just go grab that guy? All right. We're being tutorialized. I'll let it slide this time. <laughs> Found a Mimon already, have we? My thanks, friend. I got just the thing to show my appreciation. On Meraki's essence. This is an essence. It contains the power of a demon. Power that only the chosen can wield. You'll want to make your merry way over to the leyline fount in Mita. Someone there will be able to tell you more, I'm sure. Okay, Mimon rewards. Um, we'll get a starter healing set once we've found five. Neko Shogun Essence. Angel's Essence, Ice Gems. Okay, cool, cool. Oh man, there's a lot of them. 200 in total. Need anything else? Taken off? Yes, yes, I go back, by the way. Sparkly shiny boxes. Destroy and get something nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do they each have a different, like, head? <laughs> Did they design 200 different heads for those guys? Okay. Oh, whoops. Okay, can't break that. What's that? I think that's a pixie right there. Hi, pixie. Young man, it appears there's a demon up ahead. I have a proposal. It's dangerous to travel the netherworld alone. Therefore, I recommend we recruit some demons to fight on our side. By talking to demons, you can try and persuade them to join your cause. I have a lifestone you can use. See if you can convince the demon to join you. You obtained a lifestone. Okay. Time to talk. Negotiations. You started talking to the demon. Whoa, he talked to me. Could this demon want me to join him? Okay, let's talk. I'm gonna ask you a question, so make sure you answer in a way that'd make me happy, okay? So, do you think I'm cute? Oh, just the cutest. <laughs> Thanks! Well then, let me ask one more question. Do you want me to join you? I do. <laughs> gotcha, I wouldn't mind giving that a thought, you know? But demons won't join you for free. You gotta give me all kinds of stuff, like items, or maka. I'm gonna tell you what I want, so make sure you give that to me. What should I do? I want one lifestone. Oh, well, thank goodness that's what Aogami gave me, huh? Wow, man, I think we just lucked out there, didn't we? <laughs> uh, very well. Well done, I'd be happy to join you now. You'll be happy to get other demons to join you by negotiating, just like we did right now. But demons are pretty fickle, so it might not go as easily as it did with me. Ain't that the truth. Even if you mess up, don't worry. Just hang in there. Nice to meet you. I'm, I'm Fairy Pixie. I hope we get along. All right. Another game where Fairy's the first demon you recruit. <laughs> now, do we need to keep her to the end of the game as well? <laughs> kind of like in three. <laughs> okay. Well done, young. If there is a demon you want on your side, then you might try to negotiate with them. Up to three other demons can participate in a battle. The more demons on your side, the less demanding a battle will be. Try talking to various demons in order to recruit them. 
Pressing the X button outside of battles will display the main menu. Here you can use skills and items, manage demons, and perform various other actions. Nice thing about Pixie is she usually comes with a healing skill. She comes with Dia. Let's see if she, yep, she has it already. Looks like she's also got Patra, and also has Amagatoki Critical. Okay. Essence. Essence of On Muraki. Can I do anything with this? Agi, Palimpa, and Mudo. Okay. Can't really do anything with that now. We'll figure it out. Right now, our demon stock is uh, maxed out at six. Okay. Analyze. Lore. A small fairy found in southwestern Britain known for their cheerful nature and love of pranks. Their physical appearance changes from region to region, but their personality is always playful and mischievous. A common prank they like to pull is causing humans to wander in circles. However, they are also known to help farmers from time to time and are generally considered good fairies. They're just straight up neutral. Okay. Okay, got some slimes up there. Young man, there is a demon up ahead. Allow me to teach you an efficient way to engage the enemy. When confronting demons, the best strategy is to strike them with your blade. In many cases, this will give you the initiative in the battle. Oh, in many cases, meaning not all cases. On the other hand, if you are attacked, the enemy may very well gain the initiative instead. Observe the enemy's movements we don't want that. and act accordingly to earn an advantage in battle. By pressing the Y button to attack a demon, uh, uh, to attack a demon symbol, you will enter a battle with that demon. Take the demon by surprise, and you will earn the initiative in battle. If the demon takes notice of your attack, then the initiative will be decided by chance. Battles will often play out in your favor if you gain the initiative, so remember to strike first. And we will be doing that as much as possible. All right. Looks like these guys are just going to allow us to get the easy initiative. Okay, so we do have a guard option. Okay, taking advantage of their weaknesses, we'll be able to get more attacks. And finish at least one of them off before they can get to us. Okay, you got hit pretty hard. Okay, our Magatsui uh, bar is getting close to being full, it looked like. It was like two-thirds of the way up. I'm trying to play it like a uh, four. With four, you press X to swing. <laughs> Okay, we're going to try and recruit one of these. Um, we're going to kill at least one of them first, though.
You started talking to the demon. The demon is approaching. What will you do? Let's try keeping calm. You moron, now you're gonna die. Okay, this is gonna be the last of our MP. Magatsu is maxed out. Nah, I don't think I'm gonna use it right now, though. <laughs> My skill's on another level, you know? Nice, okay. So now you got Zahn. In fact, let's look at that skill panel. Oh, I guess I need to look at party? Status. Next skill, Raku Kaja. That's a defense buff. I do want that. And it's at level four, which is your next level. Okay. Okay, you don't learn skills that way, so we'll have to figure out how skills are learned in this game. All right. <laughs> okay, we can't even afford it. That's fine. Let's at least save. Yeah, they're gonna make us struggle a bit. It's too bad that level ups don't bring back HP and MP. That was always pretty useful. Is that the music? It was intense. to soda. Okay, Pixie has a decent amount of MP. I like that. It's gonna help us while we're having to heal ourselves this much. Um, that doesn't seem very good. Okay, 
Okay, so I think that that's um, the same thing as ours that guarantees uh, criticals. Um, we might actually have our first game over here. You ready? Yeah, so they basically have the ability to do what we just did. First game over, ladies and gents. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Algami's going to be displeased. Uh-oh. He didn't even look mad. He just looked disappointed, which makes it worse. I'm sorry, Algami dad. My bad. Get used to it. <laughs> it won't be the last time. Okay, so it is good to know that they can basically do the Magatsui thing uh, the same as we can. Okay, so we need money. Oh, I see. It makes that sound effect when the uh, Kagatsuchi is full up in the top left-hand corner. Okay, let's try and uh, talk right off the bat. Maybe that's our best option right now, early on. You started talking to the demon. Look here, chump. Don't you know who I am? Master Slime. Call me master again makes me feel like a real big-time demon. Oh, God. What have I done? Your master demands tribute, peasant. Bring out your goodles. Wish worship me? Now, let's see here. Give me 87 Maka. I don't even know if I have that. Yeah, we don't <laughs> we don't have that. You don't need that. Do you ever shut up? Maybe when I rip your head off, you'll finally stop talking. You know, something we should learn is whether or not it's a game over if Nahobino goes down, like in three.
You started talking to the demon? Moon's so bright. I'm going to shine even brighter. The demon seems to be in good spirits. Could it be because a full moon is near? You want me on your side, huh? Sure. I'm actually feeling kind of generous. Now let's see here. Give me 69 maka. Well, it's literally all I've got, but hey, if we manage to get him, it's worth it. I want a deadly amount of your MP. <laughs> Didn't have much left to give, but I think you've had enough. Yeah, good point. They call me Faustline. Pleasure's all mine. Okay, we got him. Good. <laughs> Can't heal ourselves, but shit. Hey, we got 10 Maka. Oh, good. Look on the map. Oh, look on the map. You can see things uh, that you can. There's a thing over here. Look at that. I gotta keep an eye out for that. Revival bead, nice. Okay, now we've got two of those. Okay, maybe we should try and fill out our party. So maybe if we go around here. Oh, you can see that. Oh, yeah, there's one up there. Look at that. Oh, no, these guys. Wrong button. Yep, good job, me. <laughs> Why do I keep on trying to do X? It's Y in this game. It's Y. You reach his on? You are. What have you got? Okay, so physical um, skills in this game take MP. Wasn't expecting them to hurt. We don't really have anything to barter with. Maybe I should wait to try and get our third demon. Hey boss, look as slick as always. Thanks. Ah, congrats on missing the joke. You weren't supposed to take that seriously. Um, by the way, on this guy, uh, don't look down. No, man, I was going with the bit. You think you can keep up with me, huh? Maybe we ought to dance then. How about a dance of death? Okay, let's see how, um, auto battle works. It's probably just physicals. Great job, slime, you loser. Um, I'm okay to game over here, if I'm being honest. I wouldn't mind reloading and going back to that, so I don't have to use a revival bead on Pixie. And there we go. That answers another question I had. So, Nahobino, if uh, he goes down, we get game over. So, uh, definitely taking that from the SMT3 handbook and not the SMT4 handbook. Okay. But yeah, right at the beginning, man, just like getting a full party always seems to be 
somewhat difficult. And since we're on hard, this isn't surprising me that we're already have game over twice. So. Um, it would have helped us if I also didn't get ambushed there and actually push the right button to attack our enemies. Okay, so Zahn is a weakness. Interesting, these came back. this one because that gives us a half turn which will allow us to hopefully finish this guy off okay that'll be less damage coming our way we gotta get along yeah I mean peace has got to be our first priority right nah I don't believe in peace Damn, you really are heartless. You even human? What color's your blood? Blue. That's one cool color. I'm a fan of blue myself. Uh, let's see. Fork over 156 mock. I don't even have, cl I, I have no money, dude. You don't need that. Chill out. I ain't finished yet. Let me smack you around a bit. Oh, I thought he was gonna actually take HP and continue. God damn it. All right. Okay, physical attacks do not hurt these guys very much, do they? Okay, so when we look at them, we do get to see their level. He's a level three. Okay, got a life stone. And a level up. Oh, so we do get some just standard stat ups and then we get to choose one? Is that how that works? Yeah, you saw there was a plus one on strength, a plus one on magic, and a plus one on luck. I wonder if um, getting some extra bonuses and vitality early on on hard mode is going to be... I think that might actually be very useful for us. Okay, you learned Dustoma. Oh, they should let you analyze it before it kicks you out. Can I reverse those buttons so that it's like four? You know, the one that I've been playing recently? <laughs> that would be kind of nice. Because I keep on trying to reverse X and Y's buttons. All right, it's worth checking. Okay, we gotta resummon her into our party. They eventually like give up and turn around. How does that work? All right, let's. Okay, he disappears. Eh, that's fine. 
Okay, three of them, that's bad. Um, alright, we're gonna do... Never mind, we're dead. No, I'm reloading because I can't I can't use both of my revival beads. You know, let's just see if we can run. And then we can just reload. Okay, so they definitely like when everything's guaranteed critical right there. Ooh, man. That was basically just like a six round punch down. <laughs> Welcome to hard mode. Like I said, I'm not guaranteeing I'll stay in it, but I'm going to give it a bit of a shake here. I'm going to give it a bit of a shake, so... So Magatsui comes back in between loads. These ones do not. All right, does that guy ever turn around? That was dirty. That took our took our advantage away huge right there. Okay, that hurts. Just wanted to get that heal off before trying this. Ah, the moon's faded away. Can't hear the voices anymore. It's no use. Could this be due to the new moon? God damn it. Okay, fine. All right, so we can't negotiate with these guys on a new moon. save since we got that level up. I might just run around some of these guys for a minute and collect some things. Yeah, every fight right here at the beginning is going to be a fight for survival. Um, I can't seem to get money or get through these fights without 
having like a net negative. <laughs> We could try, like, possibly just, like, farming something. We could see if farming slimes is viable. Just for a minute. Mostly just to get money. Um, because then with money we'll have... Or, and, and items. Then we'll have more to negotiate with, too. Which increases our chance of, uh, yeah, being able to do that. Okay, so Dustoma, chance of inflicting Mirage? I don't even know what that is. Oh, so close. That's all right. bad. That critical allowed us to get that kill on this turn. Yeah, doing a couple of these might help us out on hard mode. Might be kind of a necessity. So when does Magatsui go up? As we were attacking, it wasn't going up. Maybe it's per fight, per individual fight. Okay, each of these fights are giving us about 20 Maka. We're also getting life stones from them. Mm, that might get us a Rakukaja. Yeah, 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 cool. And now we have Poisma as well. I'm gonna have to figure out what Mirage does. Maybe the Mangatsui goes up with... Oh, no, there we go. It's Maybe it's per turn. Wait. Did you switch your target to a different guy? Why'd you do that? I mean, the guy is almost dead, bro.
I think Pixie can get one shot if they do their physical attack uh, skill, so we'll top her off. Man, so close to finishing that guy. Well, crap. That messed up my plans. With those misses, you uh, lose two of your moves, so... I'm betting we don't have enough Maka to get our MP back, but maybe. Either way, let's check it out. Um, wrong, wrong thing. My bad. Natural. If it's a fair price you want, I'm good for it. <laughs> Relics acquired from vending machines can so be sold here for currency. <laughs> cool. Okay. That, that helps, actually. Look in this. <laughs> Say thanks. Need anything? Always. Okay, so it was a good thing I checked that out. All right. So seventy-seven maka. So if uh, heal all. That one's one hundred and seventy-six. Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. Maybe we can start to keep up just a little bit. But I think this is where we're gonna end this first episode. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tune in tomorrow where we get episode number two. You're gonna wanna be there. I'm excited for it. This has been a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm having a good time. We need to get one more party member and then I'm gonna feel much better about how we're doing. <laughs> all right, well, see y'all in the next one. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Louis D, and Ivan K. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.